welcome back everybody we are and close to the sun uh, we're gonna start off with episode five uh, okay yeah it looks good we're gonna start off with episode five um, and see if we can get to the game I think there's ten episodes so about half start the halfway through Darkness of Hades. Rose. Rose, are you there? Come in, Rose. Come on, Rose. Answer me. Rose. It's now or never, Rose. They are coming. I'm running out of doors to close. I don't care. She's gone, Aubrey. I was too late. But she's gone. I know, I know. But you made a promise, Rose. Scouts honor and everything. If you don't leave now, they will get you too. Promise. Come on. Get up and get out. The left side door. Go! the physics department. Once you've gotten me out of here... I'm not going to the engine halls, Aubrey. But... but you said... you promised. I know, Aubrey, I, I know. And I will stay true to my word. But my sister asked me to do one last thing for her. I have to do this first, Aubrey. Family first. I understand. Where do you need to go? The theater. How do I get there? Get that physics department. I'll be right back. Helios Physics. You can quote me on that one. Helios Physics Department. Expanding into new sectors. Our expansion into the sectors previously occupied by the weather department is taking longer than expected. This means we have henceforth have to be very economical with how we install our existing equipment. I am aware that the weather de <coughs> department is taking their sweet time to pack up, but I will remind you all to be patient and graceful during this process as we will require their assistance later with this year with power distribution. New equipment shipments will be arriving within the week, and since we are still in transition, storage will become an issue. My office is always open, so if you have any suggestions or solutions, please come by and share your proposals. Keep up the good work. We've got exciting times ahead. Lean researcher, Ada Archer. It is odd. I'm here. Something is burning, though. Oh, yeah. That would be the reactor core. The 
this is ground zero where it all began. Turns out the fire we lit doesn't kept on burning. It's been consuming the Helios from within for days. Don't breathe the fumes. Highly inadvisable. Easier said than done. <coughs> you had a way for me to get to the theater? I do, but you're not going to like it. Come on. Hit me. <coughs> you see where all the smoke and fire is coming from? Well, we're going to walk you straight through the middle of it. <coughs> I hate this place. It gets worse. The reactor core is shielded, so the receiver won't work once you're down there. You'll have to traverse the flames on your own. I'm going to monitor the exotic energy spread behind you, see if I can contain it. I'll talk to you on the other side. Okay. Any last minute advice? Don't burn up.
The Drama of Dionysus. Any idea where this notebook might be hidden? It's a fairly large theater, you know. Afraid not. But how big can it be, really? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. That's just the lobby. Wait until you see the auditorium. I leave you to search while I reserve some issues with the weather tech devices. That's cool. I'll uh, check in with you later, all right? Sure. This might take a while. In the future, we will correct the past. Just keep your promise. And the Trinity logo. You want to try going up? I am terribly sorry. The Tower of Grace demanded my attention far longer than I anticipated. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all, sir. I'm still learning how to best get around here on the Heliums. So many floors, so much to see. Quite so, but I have saved the best for last years. The Helios Grand Theater. Shall we? By all means. This, Miss Archers, is the Helios Grand Theater. Wow. I'm glad you like it. We have a wonderful line of performances this year. And if you look closely, up there, that is your private balcony, from where you'll be able to watch them all. The balcony used to be my own, but I insist you take it as a welcome aboard gift and as a token of my appreciation for your research. What? I don't... I don't know what to say, sir. Oh, it is the least I can do, and please, go minimum. Thank you. But what will people say? Won't people gossip? Me, sitting in your balcony? It's not mine, not anymore. And people will always gossip with interest in it. Come now, let me show you the view. Of course. Balcony, 
you hide your research there, Ada? I always wanted to see her perform. From there, it was merely a matter of building. But enough about me. What about you, Ada? What about your family? You have a sister, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Rose. Well, Rose Archer. And if you think I'm stubborn, wait till you meet my sister. <laughs> what does she do? She's a journalist. Is that so? Is she any good? The best. We're just taking it slow this time. I don't actually have to do any sort of like wiggle adjustment. Much joy while aboard the Helios. It's wonderful. I really cannot thank you enough. Nonsense, my dear. Just continue to pursue your theories. That will be gratitude plenty. I, I, I truly believe you are onto something revolutionary, Ada. It's just missing that final spark. I hope the Helios will provide the resources required for us to find it. Because when we do, we will have changed the world forever. To changing the world. To changing the world. Okay. Not here. Not here. That's it. You're just going to leave me to figure this out on my own? Have fun. Weird. That was... Center stage. Dude. Holy shit. Ada, I hear you. I see it. from the past, but it's like she's still here, leading me onwards.
All right, center stage. How do I get up there? In. I could have used you like five minutes ago. You found the notebook, didn't you? I bet. 
that you did! Right? Right? Yes, Aubrey. I got the notebook. And then I ran into Ludwig. Oh no. Are you okay? I'm fine, Aubrey, and thankfully... Ludwig took a face full of fire, so that's one problem less. Wow! One piece of great news after another. What's next? The bad news? I'm lost. I, I think there's an elevator here. Anything yet? No. Nothing. Wait! Now! Aubrey! Now! Oh, that's deck 66. Next order of business, getting you that elevator. Fantastic, Aubrey. Thank you again for everything. I'm coming to make good of my promise. You have no idea how good that sounds. Wait, let me get the doors. Oh, god damn it. What's wrong? There's... Ugh, gross. Oh. There's the body of a man crucified against the elevator wall. Is there a different elevator you can send up? I'd rather not. It's... It's the only one... I'm good with it's it. It's the only one, Go. Rose. Mm, 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 I yeah. hate this place. Mm. I hate Shake this place it. Work it, so work it, work much. It. One leaf in... One thorn out. Thanks for doing this, Rose. Yeah. Sorry for the asthma. The Strife of Eris. I have a confession to make. Oh? I told you that I had a family. But I don't. It was a lie. I'm a liar, Rose. I'm sorry. That's okay, Aubrey. Glad to hear it, because I'm afraid you've got a bit of work to do before you can get to my end of the engine halls. But of course I do. What a surprise. Where do I go? Make your way to the local engine hall. You'll have to find a way to the other side of it. Yes! The power couplings, Benny! Hey, Rose. I gotta sort this out. I'll be back in a jiffy. Just don't... Don't what? Aubrey? Aubrey! Don't die. Wait. Keep yourself alive. Oh, keep yourself alive. Oh, shit. Mm. Probably something swoopy. You are... Machine Hall. Death. I found death. I found death. Whew. Inspection verdict failed. Inspector notes, how do these power couplings still functioning is beyond me. Look at them. The only thing holding them together is rust and dust, and that's not the scary part. You know what happens when these were to fail? First, the D12 panel would overload, preventing the automatic pressure equalizer from receiving updated values. Normally, this would cause the local heat trigger to flip, preventing the situation from escalating, but since the heat trigger is entirely missing, that won't happen. The result is catastrophic pressure building in the discharge tanks, causing a grade C plus explosion, where anywhere from 4 to 10 casualties, depending on shift, would be expected. 
If you want to gamble with lives, at least have the common decency to say so openly, assholes. And Aubrey King, Technology Department, Maintenance Division. Okay. Aubrey, can you do something about the power coming and going? I thought you had that area covered. Uh, there's a bit of a hiccup with this, uh, with a large electromagnetic distribution coil. It seems to be pulsating. Yeah, that means nothing to me, Aubrey. Speak plainly. <laughs> Rosie, we are harvesting electricity from time itself. This shit, this shit is complicated, is okay? <laughs> you just find a way forward and... Don't die! Ah, great plan, Aubrey. Oh Not man, best work it's, like, yet. it's like I freaking wrote it. You hear that, Betty? Don't Rose die. Is giving me attitude. Found her leg. Oh, her leg is there. That's that's her leg. Oh, oh, we're here. Hmm. Wait a minute. Wait, we just did, did, did a big circle. We just did a big circle. Oh shit. Okay, I see. There's another little panel down there. Alright. came from, isn't it? No. Why does this look like it's where it came from? Let me eat. 
people. I missed. Okay. Oh, it's up there. Okay. Hey, <laughs> what's up, fellas? You gonna get coffee up there? Oh, okay. Lights on, please. Just for a sec. Oh, that that was less than helpful. Yeah, I'm still here, Aubrey. I made it across the engine hall. What now? Up ahead is hydraulics and pressure control. The distribution coil is boiling the storage tanks, so you're going to have to reduce the pressure in order to get the security doors to open. Find the pressure valves, Rose. Turning them should bring the pressure down. Okay. Find the valves to reduce pressure. Got it. Doing great, Rose. You're almost here. Okay. Talk to you in a bit. Wow, you way people continue to disappoint me is truly astonishing. The cap transfer cables are not supposed to be connected to the current control system. Just because the cable fits doesn't mean that they're supposed to be connected here. Two systems operate on entirely different frequencies, meaning that all the power readings we've collected since the last inspection will have to be thrown out since the value has been compromised. How the hell are we supposed to keep the Helios running effectively with you without you lot pissing away your chances to take accurate measurements? Mandatory systems and cables review session on Tuesday, 9 p.m. We will go for as long as needed until everyone has intimate understanding of the required cable connections. Aubrey King. Hard no
Rescue will come. Rescue. <laughs> uh -huh. Alright. Which one did I miss? We literally have one more this time. <laughs> Just have to find it. Oh, I already got this one. Pretty sure we got this one too. Now what? Now the pressure's green. Do I take, okay, do I take the knob? Good 
did it, Rose. I see green all over my senses here. The security doors should be open. Just one more hurdle, and then we can get the hell out of this ship. All right. One more hurdle. What's up next? Well, you remember that malfunction in supersized electromagnetic distribution coil? It's... You know what? Some things just need to be seen. Come on through. <laughs> Electromagnetic distribution coil. I'm gonna call it Fred. Oh, don't worry, you're safe in there. As long as you don't get directly exposed to the shock wave, you should be fine. Good to know. Something or other regularly fries the entire place? Yep. <sighs> I've been thinking about this part. If it's all right with you, I'll open the door on the left and just hide in the corner for a while, okay? Of course. I, I wouldn't want you screaming in my ear anyway. <laughs> he just kind of like slides out. All right. The full list of defects is nailed to the top of the machine in the cafeteria. I might have slipped with the hammer while nailing the list to it, so it appears you'll all be performing this week's maintenance without your regular dose of coffee. Alright. Uh, fuse box contained only toilet paper. That's fine. Shit's gold. What's seven is this? Seven. Oh, one.
should I know? I, I pulled the damn thing. Did it work? Just a moment. I think you did it, Rose. Oh, thank God. I can't believe it! You did it! Woohoo! I'm going to live! Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> so, Aubrey, Aubrey, how about we finally get off this godforsaken thing? Not okay. On my way, Aubrey. See you in a bit. I don't want to go left. Okay. Guy's got a hamster. Where are you, Aubrey? Let's go. Maybe just report to Vision Memo. It would be funny if it wasn't so goddamn depressive. Since my transfer from the weather department eight months ago, I have yet to perform a maintenance check that didn't reveal a severe system malfunction. All I hear are the safety concerns this and safety concerns that. If you lot could succeed at keeping the engine hall running for a week without some new disaster, we might actually might be able to get the budget to take care of your workplace safety paranoia. For those who care, the funeral at sea for your colleague, Michael Jensen, will be held at 2 p.m. Wednesday. That is all. Aubrey King. Come on, Aubrey. Let's go already. Aubrey dead. Just like Benny dead. Jeez, you just kicked my teeth in. <laughs> I tried to tell you. I really did. I'm a liar, Rose. I've heard everything, every word, since you came aboard. From your first conversation with Ada, to the last words she ever spoke. I even listened in on your conversation with Aubrey. Nicola. What? It wasn't Tesla's lockdown that was jamming your sister's broadcasts. That was another lie. It was me! Why? Because she took everything from me! Everything! I had his attention! I had his respect! But she took it all. I used to be someone aboard that ship. But now... Now the time has come to take back. Oh. Starting with these. If you do this, I will kill you. Is that a promise, Rosie? Rosie? 
<laughs> Cute. You forget that just like I led the exotic energy to the surgery room of your sister, so too am I leading exotic energy to you right here. You better hurry. Those things will be here any minute. Benny here will keep you company. They claim what was mine. One leaf in, one ball out. It's going to be okay. They're gone. It's going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> 